or may not have seen the advertisements going on on our social media, but this is how we wrap up the end of the off-season here, just getting ready for season two, which will begin next week. But we're all set for two hours of the Fuji GP circuit uh, between LMP2s and GTEs. We're currently set up for a 13 driver grid we did have a couple of issues through the heats with drivers just not able to uh, to finish the races so a few drivers down on our um, expected 16 driver grid is going on we are going to be going through a simulated 24 hours here um, in tonight's race currently um, around about two o'clock in the afternoon at uh, this Fuji Speedway circuit but uh, once the race gets underway we're going to be starting up about four o'clock in the afternoon and that's going to progress pretty quickly into the night time so the drivers are going to have to get their eye in and get settled pretty quick get that flow sorted for when the lights go out as fast af gamer takes the pole position in the lmp2s with saint bath in second bruce law in third and linga bazinga in fourth and then leggy makes up fifth place with j46 dyson in sixth and then uh Father Ledge in seventh place, making up the back of that grid. Doesn't look as though Richie was able to get back into this one. We'll have to wait and see, but it does look as though Richie is our first casualty of the evening. Snarling Bongo did very well to get top of the GTE class with uh, Jelma or Martin 65 in second for the GTEs. All you 82 after his one place grid penalty finds himself in third place with uh, Jack Demenezes in fourth. I uh, will be calling him Jack for the remainder of the evening, uh, whereas Giacomo did enough for fifth place, and that will make up our starting grid for the evening. But go back towards Leggy so we can get a good view of the LMP2s. And they're underway here. Looks to be a good start from most. You can see, uh, it looks as though is that DJ Leggy just dropping behind. It is indeed coming up into turn one we go trackside looks as though 74 let you running quite wide is he going to uh, get caught up by the gte cars he comes mighty close to it but fast f gamer leads the race ahead of saint bath with bruce law in third j46 in uh, fourth place with dj legend fifth linga bazinga in sixth and then 74 Leggy goes back at who was it that came in contact with the wall there it was Linga Bazinga, that. Linga Bazinga, it was right. indeed. He falls all the way down to 11th place here. So Linga Bazinga, um, pretty much the first casualty, it seems. And he's going to have to work pretty hard to try and make that up. There is one hour, 59 minutes remaining of the session, though. So plenty of time to get it done. Looks as though Jack is running really well in the GTEs. I uh, can just see a Porsche 911 just being challenged by the Chevrolet, though. So it looks as though Snarling Bongo has been able to take that position back. Let's have a look at these two guys as we uh, we can see Linga Bazinga making his way back up through the grid. You see the differences in line there between Snarling Bongo and Jack. And it looks as though Jack's having a little look up the inside but loses the rear end. Manages to catch it. Is he going to lose out on another place? See a pretty hot battle though forming up between in this GTE class. Looks as though Jack has just had the superior line there to try and get past that uh, that duo of Ford GTs. So Jack takes eighth place. That's TTV Alienzo that we're currently watching round in the uh, in the Ford Nassi works machine. Um, Keep an eye out on him because he is trying to hold back in. Lights are just starting to go on, so we're just going into dust time now. TTV and Jelma all all going toe to toe here. So with that, this battle continues between the three GTE drivers, really just changing positions constantly. It seems, although he got a great move on, it looks as though he's fallen to the back of this pack. But at the moment. We've still got Linga Bazinga, he's now out of the pits, he's back on track, but he remains one minute and three seconds behind the current race leader, which is Fast AF Gamer, who's got 2.7 or 2.8 seconds ahead of St. Bath, so looking to have a commanding lead, and it looks as though he's building upon it. Great effort, um, and racing really hard really early, which I didn't think we'd see. I think a lot of guys would play it a bit more conservative, um, just judging by the, the length of the race, but great to see. 
just to correct you there, sorry, it isn't actually all you 82, it's actually um, Martin um, 65. Oh, Not as bad. we see an off there from Martin, a little bit of commentator's curse perhaps, and he makes a massive spin. That is probably going to see all you 82 come past him. Uh, is he going to see it? There it is. So all your 82 comes past. Let's have a look at Martin. He is back on the straight and narrow now, uh, but he does fall to the back of the GTE grid with uh, only Linga Bazinga behind who suffered a little bit of damage on that first time around. I thought for a second there that that Porsche had just held up uh, DJ just enough for uh, uh, 74 to get a run onto him. Um, but it looked like they've got it it's so similar, these two. Um, as I say, that, it was a great move around the, uh, around the outside. They're side by side in the turn one. is uh, no easy feat. Yeah, they're certainly not holding back. Uh, there's... Uh... There's going to be a lot of respect between the two drivers, but they're, they're not holding um, back any of the punches. It looks as though 74 has got a great drive there going through 100R. I think he is holding back. I, I'm, I'm going to disagree with that. I'm going to say I think he is holding back. I think he's going to try, trying to give his son the benefit of the doubt. And I think he, it, it's, it's only going to be a matter of time before, um, you know, the wise old bull takes it. I think it, it's, it, it's just a matter of time with these guys. Um, again, Blistering speed from, from from DJ, but the consistency of his dad, I think he's going to pay off here. Absolutely. Uh, it looks as though Martin comes in for his first scheduled pit stop. Jam is in in the number 16 uh, Ford 50 Racing Ford GT, and uh, that's going to be once again another stop for fuel and tyres, I believe. It looks as though as he missed his. He's missed his uh, pit stop there. He's going to be gutted that we've caught that one. He has to reverse himself back in. He's got a little bit oh, too far the embarrassment. in reverse He's as missed well. it again. He's missed it again. All oh, the falling around in the pit lane here. <laughs> it's not. He's going to be gutted that we've caught this on stream, I think. And maybe he's lost his gear as well. He's losing. I think he stalled hand, it. Hand over fist. Stalled it. Has to oh, start it once again. You can't find it. Again. Grind it. And there he is, finally in for those stops. So an absolute horror show there from Jelma. And uh, he has to <laughs> basically suck it up and uh, try and fight back with this one. As we see, who was that? That just got a little bit wide. Was that uh, was that Ford GT that I saw coming off, or was it uh, was it the LMP2 ahead? Just missed it as I was checking through the notes. It looks as though Linga Bazinga is just making his way up the inside, and he comes together with contact. Jack. And his contact looks as though he got away with it. It looked as though uh, Linga Bazinga just coming in a little bit too hot there into the uh, really tricky Panasonic corner. You don't want to be taking up the inside of that one. He makes a little bit of contact again. He needs to be careful there, Linga Bazinga. Um, but he is now through the rest of the grid. He's pushing hard to try and make up the, the difference. Um, and he looks as though he's now going to be coming up to the back of J46 Dyson after his pit stop. But uh, yeah, two two little moments, heart stopping moments of contact there. Uh, but Jack and Giacomo continue to race on. Yeah, with that swerve that he did on the uh, on the pit straight. Then I've seen police officers get very upset with you drive like that on the motorway. Like Giacomo, Giacomo just got just spun around there, yeah. Road. Yeah, yeah. It looked as though I didn't see whether or not there was contact, or whether or not it was just a bit of a mistake. I but, think he uh, got a little bit caught up in one of the LMP2 cars there on the inside. Maybe just didn't see him coming into uh, turn three there. Uh, that'd be a shame if he's picked up any damage. He was having a really good run. First law, you can only assume on for a three-stop strategy. And that makes me think it is fuel-related. So Bruce Law is in a turbo diesel, whereas the rest of the LMP field is running uh, a, a variance in, in aspiration petrols. So uh, obviously. These are race tune diesels, they're not going to be getting the fuel economy of your, of your 2 litre VW. And no 67, 70 miles to the gallon in these things. They are going to drink it and it looks as though Bruce is certainly suffering with, uh, with that. Uh, so Fast F Gamer just making his way through the back marker there of, I think that might be 74 Leggy. Just a little flash of the lights to acknowledge him, making it easier there under blue flags. So uh, looks as though Fast AF has lapped almost all of the field. The only person that he hasn't is St. Bath so far. Great running there from our uh, from our young South African. Pit stops from Fast AF Gamer and St. Bath, but uh, he's going to have to try and make these moves as quick as possible. As he goes up the inside there, absolute textbook through Panasonic. 
that wasn't uh, Ledgy giving him the position. That was Bruce Law just holding on to that inside line and making it count. So next on uh, Bruce Law's scope is the senior Ledgy, 74. And uh, he's got around about two seconds to catch up to the back of him. Looks as though Bruce Law is just up onto the back end of Linga Bazinga's uh, Chevy Corvette C7R. And he goes up onto the inside of him, and this should be another pretty easy move. We go into one of my favourite camera angles of this circuit. So Martin also into the pits as well. Could well be for a little bit of damage because it wasn't that long ago that he made his further pits, uh, his third pit stop. So I think this might be the fourth for Martin. As we see Bruce Law struggling to try and get the better of. Uh, Ledgy at the moment, he is holding on to the slipstream though, we're going to see a move up the inside, we can see that defensive line of Ledgy at the moment just moving over ever so slightly to the right hand side, we see a dart up onto the right as we go into a lovely drive by here, and looks as though Bruce Law's got the move done, so long as he can hold on to that inside line, and it does look like a textbook bit of uh, drafting overtaken there from uh, Bruce Law looking like a bit of a tall order from him. Someone who hasn't got a lot of screen time in this race and probably should have is actually Stalin, uh, who's leading the GTEs. Um, yeah. And has been from the start. It seems to have just sort of checked out early doors and managed the gap uh, extremely well. Um, only He's been up consistently a, a two seconds a, a lap. Yeah. That's what I think, Alex. Um, th th there's been round about two Great seconds effort. between uh, between himself and the other GTE drivers. So. It really is. I mean, we, we said he was sort of one to watch at the start of this one. Oh, as we see a mistake there oh, from right. uh, all 82 ends up losing it completely. I wonder whether or not that is just tyres catching him out, tyre temperatures rising up, and it just looked as though he lost the rear end coming into Dunlop. In fact, it was on the exit of Dunlop, so just as he's put the power down, he's ended up with that back end overtaking the front end, and uh, that's put him back around about seven seconds and uh, put him slap in the middle between the two Jacks, Giacomo and Jack in the Porsche 911. Um, so I'll have to wait and see whether or not he can recover. Might not see him coming in for a new set of rubbers if, uh, if the tyre temps have gone away from him. In the LMP class, have completed their pit stops. Oh, that was a great run by DJ Ledgy. He's come around the back of Snelling Bongo. He's got the slipstream on both uh, on both drivers. He's overtaken all 74, and all 74's just shot down the inside. Oh, uh, it's all happening on the first from, corner. Uh, 74 Ledgy, but that battle is continuing to hot up. Some fantastic racing here uh, with uh, Linga Bazinga just sort of slapped in the back of this one. Let's get into the chase cam of Linga Bazinga. Oh, I beg your pardon, it wasn't Linga Bazinga, was it? It's not, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's Dyson. It's Dyson's getting involved with the uh, with the uh, 74 Ledger uh, here at the moment, so it's 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 all happening. They're all attacking each other. Um, so fantastic driving from Fast AF Gamer comes through Dunlop. Where's the countdown timer counts down? This will be the final lap of the special event. We were predicting 80 laps. We've got 79 all told after all of the pit stops. But it's been a fantastic effort and it is going to be a race victory for him. 10 seconds ahead of his closest competitor. Comes around the final corner. I expect a lot of sweaty palms, but a lot of joy from Fast AF Gamer as he crosses uh, the line very shortly. I expect some short walks in. Even yet, <laughs> most definitely. Plenty of flashing of the lights, I'm sure. And there it is, the race victory from Fast AF. I was slowly suspecting that he was going to make contact with the wall and potentially lose out to <laughs> St. Bath in the absolute death. St. Bath comes across the line, though, for second place. It's going to be a long period of time until we get Bruce Law in third. So we have a look over to the GTEs as Snarling Bongo takes the race victory in the GTE class in his uh, Chevy Corvette C7R. Fantastic racing from him found himself around about 30 seconds ahead of his closest competitor in TTV Giacomo. TTV Giacomo bringing with him a posse of supporters. It's unfortunate that he wasn't able to get the victory, but a great showing from the young 14-year-old. And uh, definitely keep an eye out on him as we enter Season 2 here.
been a really good showing. I actually spoke to uh, to Jack in the Porsche 911 a little bit earlier on in the day, and I was asking him who are you most worried about, and he did say it was uh, Giacomo. He said he, he gave him a real run for his money in the uh, qualification heats for all of this. So let's have a look who's yet to cross the line. Looks as though Jack's just coming across the line in the Porsche. He's going to be one of the last drivers to come across. 40 seconds remaining and then we'll be bringing it up with the uh, with the final standings. Here they come folks. So your champion in the LMP2 is Fast AF Gamer. Found himself with 10.9 seconds ahead of St. Bath in the end. Worth noting that neither of those drivers got a penalty at all. Bruce Law in third, 1 minute and 25 seconds uh, uh, behind Saint, uh, behind Fast AF Gamer in the end. Then DJ Leggy uh, in fourth place, ahead of his dad in fifth. And then Linga Bazinga in sixth place. And J46 Dyson rounds up the LMP2s. Snarlin Bongo ends up taking the championship in the special event for the GTEs. Giacomo does admirably in second place with all U82. Uh, just avoiding a catastrophic ending there. Did well to maintain his third position with Jack in fourth and Martin in fifth place.